so today I got a little bit ready and as you can see I kind of changed a little bit of the background I still need to do a lot more to this room but as of right now I kind of switched it up a little bit so I just moved everything this way but today we're gonna get into the Christmas holiday vibes I kind of wanted to do those candy cane eye looks but I'm like let's be realistic here nobody's really gonna wear that for I mean Halloween <laughs> for Christmas but today I'm going to be doing something that is kind of inspired by this shirt here um, with like the brownish tones orangey you know fall colors first of all I'm just going to take this tape scotch tape and put it on the back of my hand because today we want that crisp 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 line but you don't want it to be too sticky and pull your skin when you take it off okay so the first shade I'm going to use is going to be creamsicle so with this eye look I want to take it all the way to the tape you could even go over the tape and then all the way to the kind of contour of my nose because I'm going to be doing a cut crease so I'm actually going to take Vivid from the 39A palette and it's more of like an orange shade and not like reddish orange Okay, then I'm gonna go back in with creamsicle and my first brush and just blend those two together So I know I told you guys that I wanted to be a lot more consistent But it seems like every single time that I say I'm gonna be more consistent something comes up and it's really starting to piss me off because I love doing videos and honestly these past couple of weeks I haven't been really wanting to do my makeup because as you can see I'm breaking out you probably can't really tell on camera but for someone that doesn't break out that often it really started to um, bug me I was like oh my gosh I want to do a video I don't feel like doing my makeup and I just felt really unmotivated but the next shade I'm going to use is um, Cypress Umber from the ABH palette take it right into the crease since I packed that on I kind of lost the orange and I'm just gonna go back into the orange and blend those two shades together cypress umber is such a pigmented shade so as you can see i'm just going back in with those shades those first two shades and just blending everything together because you want it to be a seamless blend pack it on the outer corner and sweep it into the crease once you have all of the eyeshadow blended I'm very seamless. I'm going to take this Maybelline Master Conceal in the shade 30 medium and I put it on the back of my hand. Now I'm just going to take this lip brush, cut my crease. But this time I'm not going to start from like the actual inner corner of my eye and go out. I'm going to take it a little bit out here. So now that I got it somewhat even, I'm going to go in with Cypress Umber and blend in, <laughs> what? blend it in like the outer corner. I'm going to take this dome brush and take Creamsicle and blend that one into it and when i'm applying these shades i'm going from inner corner to outer corner going back in with vivid i'm going to take the brush that i cut my crease with spray it with mario Badescu, these two and apply it to the rest of the cut crease This look good. I love it. Now, curl your lashes. Alright, y'all. So I went ahead and applied falsies off camera. Let's go ahead and take these off. Okay. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I'm actually. 
actually. So I'm in love with this look. What I'm going to do is apply my foundation. I'm probably going to cut this part out. Before I cut it out, <laughs> I need you guys' help. So I'm going home in a couple of weeks to California to see my family and I want to prank them. Leave me some suggestions in the comments so we can prank them. All right, I'll see you in the next clip. I'm back. <laughs> so now I'm going to take my concealer. So I just set my face with Airspun Translucent Setting Powder. Now I'm going to contour. If you guys use blush, let me know some blushes. That way I can try some out because honestly, I've never tried any blush, but I kind of want to get into it. So now I'm just going to go and do my, my lower lash line, but honestly, I'm not going to go in with a lot of brown because whenever I go heavy on my lower lash line when and it's heavy on top, it kind of like, I don't know, it, it bothers me. It looks good on other people, but on me, I'm just, I'm just like, no sis, you shouldn't have done that. So I'm just going to take Vivid. Now I'm just going to take that creamsicle shade, blend those two together so it has that transition. With an angled brush, I'm going to take Mocha from the Jaclyn Hill palette and just blend it in the outer corner. Now going back in with Vivid, then back with creamsicle, and there you go. Lower lash line is done so i'm just going to take a tiny bit of primavera from the abh palette and highlight my brow bone i have these two shades from milani and i kind of wanted to use this number 19 in the more map because i haven't used it and if you're more of a nude person stunning number 38 is a great shade but today i'm going to use Maybe I'll mix them together. But right now I'm going in with Coffee Bean from Rimmel London. Now that I look like a chola. Ooh, she's dark. I was not expecting that. Okay. Okay, she's a lot darker than what I expected it to be. Going in with Stunning, I'm going to just tap it right in the middle. <laughs> to finish this look off, we're gonna apply highlight. I'm living for this look. Oh my gosh. Oh, let me fix this hair really quick. <laughs> All right, you guys. So, if you don't love this look as much as I do, I'm not even gonna say it. Oh my gosh, I'm so in love. I didn't expect this look to turn out this way, but I'm so glad it did. I love it. And with this lip too, oh my god. <laughs> I think I'm feeling myself a little bit too much. So obviously this is a completed look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um... Yeah, I'll see you bitches in my next video.